Hello, my name is Ms. Smith. And I am Mr. Bundens, and we serve as two of your assistant principals. We are here to introduce a short presentation to prepare you for your return to school. Please watch and familiarize yourself with the new policies and procedures we have in place to support your safety. Throughout this message, we will emphasize, reiterate, and beat to death the three W's and ask that you follow what we've put in place for everyone's protection. Keep in mind that as we move forward, some of these procedures are likely to be tweaked or adapted. So we ask not only for your patience, but your understanding as we navigate this uncharted territory. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to pose them to a staff member when you get to school so that you understand the expectations. Thank you for your attention and we look forward to seeing you on campus soon. All students must have on file the student accountability and required health protocol form. For bus riders only, the bus attestation form is required and can be found on the Wake County Public School website as well as the Garner Magnet High School website. Students will remain in their cars while they will be health screened by Garner Magnet High School staff. Screening will begin at 655. Students must wear a mask as they are screened in their vehicle. After passing the screening, each student will be issued a wristband and enter through the front entrance. Walkers will enter the school at the front entrance or the auditorium entrance after 655 and must be wearing a mask. At these entrances, students will receive a health screening before entering the building, and upon passing the screening, will be issued a wristband. Students will be required to wear a mask at all times and will be required to pass a health screening before entering the building. After passing the screening, students will be issued a wristband and will enter the building through the tech wing entrance only. Students must have their mask on before exiting your car. Students will enter the building using the auditorium entrance and upon passing the health screening will be issued a wristband. Students should walk on the right hand side of the hallways while maintaining proper social distancing following the designated arrows. Students are expected to move directly to their next classroom. Only water refilling stations are available for use. Currently, water fountain use is discontinued. If a student would like water during the day, they must bring and use their own bottle to refill at the stations. Breakfast will be served from 6.55 until 7.20. Breakfast is free for all students. If you are not eating breakfast, report directly to your first period class. The cafeteria is set up for social distancing and not for socializing. After eating, report directly to your first period class. There will be no gathering in the cafeteria, no loitering in the hallways or bathrooms. All collaborative spaces are closed throughout the building. There will be no off-campus lunches allowed. Lunch is free and available to everyone. It will be a bagged lunch and must be consumed while seated in the cafeteria. All students will eat in the cafeteria during their designated lunch. The cafeteria has been set up with social dis distancing protocols. There is to be no more than two students per table with all students facing in the same direction in seats marked for use. Masks can only be removed while eating no socializing during this time. At the end of the lunch period, students are expected to report directly to their next class. Students who leave the building without permission will not be allowed re-entry for the remainder of their class schedule. They will be assigned to the Alternative Learning Center and removed from in-person learning for the remainder of the week. For second offenses, students will be assigned to Virtual Academy for the remainder of the school year. No lockers will be issued this school year. All students will be responsible for maintaining possessions of their personal belongings. All bathrooms are marked for social distancing inside the bathroom and while waiting to get into the bathroom. Bathroom occupancy has been reduced to only two occupants per bathroom at one time. 
Upon entering the next classroom, it is recommended that students use the hand sanitizer station again. Classrooms are set up for social distancing. Students must wear a mask at all times and are not allowed to move around the classroom without permission. Permission to leave a classroom will be highly limited. Students are permitted to drink water in class, but can only remove their mask while drinking and are six feet apart from all others in the classroom. All classrooms have both in-person and virtual learners. All students are expected to bring their own electronic device or the one provided by Wake County Public Schools. Students will not be allowed to share devices at any time while on campus. Students are encouraged to wipe down their area as they prepare to leave class and when exiting the classroom should use the hand sanitizer station. GMHS has four stairwells. Two have been identified as up and two have been identified as down. During all class transitions, students will only use the appropriately marked stairwells. While using stairwells, students are expected to maintain social distancing, no walking side by side. At dismissal, all stairwells are down stairwells in order to move students out of the building as quickly as possible while still maintaining social distancing. Further questions can be directed to the appropriate administrator. Carter Hillman is our principal. Joe Budvins, assistant principal. Mark Maltby, assistant principal. Blair Pruitt, assistant principal. And Miss Smith, assistant principal. Thank you.